The frustration that you were describing with respect to mandates, did that feel familiar to the frustration you had been feeling with respect to the pipeline and oil and gas issues? I was much more frustrated over the mandates. And why was that? <laughs> because I was seeing families torn apart. The suicides in my hometown were so numerous that they stopped reporting them. Um, elderly people were dying by themselves in long-term care facilities hmm. and saying goodbye over iPads. <laughs> my grandma is 94 years old and she was locked in her little apartment by herself for two years. And now that she can go out and do things, she's not healthy enough. She lost two years of her life. My father is, I'm so sorry. Take your time. My father is a very social man. He is the Coffee Row Saskatchewan father. And I remember him telling me one day that he went down to the local restaurant that he went to every single day. And these are small towns where everybody knows everybody and he was asked to leave. You believe that? And I didn't want my children and my grandchildren to live in a world like that. I was becoming increasingly alarmed listening to my prime minister call me a racist and say that I shouldn't be tolerated. I found his rhetoric to be incredibly divisive and I'm a, I'm a believer that if you are a leader of a country, you have to lead all of your people, even mm. if you don't agree with them. And I, I just saw so much coming across Canada every day I heard stories people at least three people would tell me they were planning their suicides until we started the convoy or stories of people that we were too late I heard from families that were living in their vehicles because they'd lost their jobs I heard from people that had lost their jobs and lost everything I have the tears of thousands of Canadians on my shoulder who every day told me that we were bringing them hope. Well, I saw little old ladies praying say? on their knees on the side of the road, and I saw little children holding signs saying, thank you for giving me back my future. Sorry. I hope you're enjoying this channel as much as I enjoy putting the material on here. This is not just about politics. I sing some of my favorite songs from the Great American Songbook. And you can also watch my latest show where we do some of the news you're not going to hear anywhere else. But please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If you want to be part of this station, please be a subscriber. We want you.